Hey, good afternoon guys. And it is actually a very good afternoon because if you saw last week's video, it was what I considered to be scary cold. And we had actually right after that about two feet of snow. I don't know if you can sort of see still a lot of it up there in the cliffs, but yeah, more snow than I <laughs> typically <laughs> would refer. And in a couple days from now, we're expected to get increasingly the forecast is for a lot of snow as well. Um, on Sunday, a couple days from now, like I said. So we're kind of in between storms and as such, I wanted to get out and try to do the beach clean challenge that I couldn't quite <laughs> find the uh, the warmth to do last week when it was scary cold. Obviously, I'm just in a sweater now, uh, or long sleeve short rather, so it's a little bit more manageable. And even though we only have a couple hours of sunlight left, I think it's a perfect time to do an hour beach clean challenge to figure out trying to see how many different types of shoes or footwear I can pick up. So I'll be uh, hiking up the beach, like I said, for about an hour and along the way, see how many different types of shoes, sandals, flip flops, all that sort of stuff that's either left over from the summer or is uh, coming here from other places. So I'll probably have a little bit more to say about that based on what we find. But as you know, if you uh, go back to last week's video, the plans of mice and beach cleaners often go awry. So. Who knows what we'll find out there once we get on the other side of this cove to the more ocean side, but uh, I suspect we'll find some of what we're looking for as well as lots of other trash along the way as, as always. So yeah, grab your, your trash pickers, bags, gloves if uh, this is still chilly for you, and uh, let's uh, get trashed. So one thing I should mention as well, as we uh, hike on over, I've hiked about a quarter of a mile from where we started and relatively not a lot of trash, but that doesn't mean that there isn't trash here. And oftentimes I see people doing a little cleaning up around this cove and I think they go to the normal parts where people walk. And once those are clean, people might assume, hey, there's not much left to do, but as I will show you <laughs> in a moment. You don't have to go very far off the beaten path to find where a lot more trash is hidden and tons more than is maybe what's at the beach where people more frequently go and therefore pick up because that's why as dirty as those parts of the beaches are, they're also clean, right? I should also note that I do have my big jacket with me because despite it being pretty beautiful right now, the sun is going down, and once that gets below the trees, it's going to get cold very quickly. Luckily, it's not windy today like <laughs> it was for last week's, last week's video, but yeah, you have to be uh, very mindful of the wind. It can really make a difference in terms of your beach cleaning experience, and this is awesome. There's barely any wind. This is some of the best beach cleaning weather this year so far. Actually, it's February, so... <laughs> uh, Certainly some of the best of the winter season and probably the best this calendar year. But uh, yeah, we're headed up over to the ocean side now, so let's uh, see what we find over there because no shoes yet, but I promise they're coming. Well, there's good news and bad news, and I suppose they're both the same, and <laughs> they're both bad news because it's all beach trash, but uh, there's still a fair amount of snow on the ground here. Like I said from that storm last week. So a lot of this stuff is buried, and that's not to say that there isn't plenty of other stuff there is, but in terms of shoes, I haven't found any yet, but I'm <laughs> gonna keep making that my main search, and rest assured, I'm finding plenty of other strange stuff to share with you <laughs> when my hike is finished. So hang in there because there's some interesting items to talk about <laughs> when we're done. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. Nothing like finding a perfectly mint condition as far as beach trash goes, uh, beach trash shoe. So let's uh, try to find the other one and then we'll have a full set. <laughs> Looks like we got number two. Summer shoes here to be detrashed. So for the record, fun fact, a few years ago I uh, switched from sometimes beach cleaning barefoot to always wearing at least sneakers and this is exactly the reason why. Exhibit tetanus. Yeah, the, the, those are some gnarly screws, and uh, that's the type of stuff that you see washed up. It's kind of buried in with the rocks and the sand and some shells, but if you step on that, that is not a good beach clean day. So uh, another beach clean tip, <laughs> wear footwear, be safe. So, continuation of the good news, bad news, same thing. I actually didn't find a whole lot of footwear out there today, and I think it, that was mainly because of all the snow that you saw that's covering up a lot of some of that more deeply buried stuff along the dunes and cliffs here on the beach. But again, that doesn't mean that's not out there because I've seen it before. So <laughs> I think we're gonna find much more of that stuff in the weeks to come, hopefully once it stops snowing. But anyways, I was able to find a shoe and a flip-flop. So I did find that boot that I showed you earlier. Yep, that's a real live boot. Uh, as well as the, uh, the flip-flop, obviously, that I mentioned. So this, uh, I would imagine, is left over from the summer, whereas this boot probably washed up um, as part of runoff. I don't know, maybe somebody did leave it here. Uh, it's a shame, it's a pretty good looking boot otherwise, but it's now trash, so I'll have more to say about those things when I do finally find more of them because, like I said, I find them all year round. I just thought, hey, it would be interesting to maybe try to focus on that this week, but a lot of these uh, pieces of, I guess, clothing technically, they do have a lot of plastic material or fiber in them, and that goes for the, the boots as well as the sandals. So, yeah, a lot of the stuff, it breaks down and degrades in marine habitats is just not so good plastic trash like much of this other stuff that we're more familiar with. And that's what I really wanted to show you now. Some of this, uh, I'm gonna call it more fun, interesting stuff because I think it is, but certainly some weird, interesting finds today. So one piece I found that really stood out to me was this weird spongy stuff, which I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, luckily I brought Purell with me because I don't even like handling this really, but it's this like thick sort of spongy stuff that's very waterlogged, uh, but it's clearly a, a like a synthetic, manufactured, I assume, plasticky type sponge fiber material. So um, unless it is a real sponge, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. It feels artificial to me. So I try to remove those things when I find them. And a lot of single use plastics left over from the summer, chip bags, that sort of stuff. I won't go through them all, but some of the common hits, straws, laundry detergent cap, which obviously that's coming, running off from probably street side runoff from tipped over garbage pails, that sort of thing. And my arch nemesis, of course, tennis balls. <laughs> if you go back, I have multiple videos now where I go on tennis ball hunts because clearly this is nonsense plastic fiber too, right? And so this type of stuff is great to pick up as well because that, again, degrades in marine habitats. And sports seem to be the theme today. Uh, I found this sort of spirally weird looking football, toy football thing. Again, this is very synthetic, very fake. I also found a uh, toy shovel so I could dig for more trash. I found, um, what else did I find? I think part of like a, a vacuum nozzle, hose nozzle. That's good for cleaning too, right? Uh, what else? There are a couple other really fun items. A comb to comb the beach with. Okay, I'll stop with the funs, I promise. Um, you gotta, you gotta have fun. A steak because the beach trash steaks are so high. I, I can't. I'm in, it's the, first week of the semester. 
I'm in professor mode. The, the puns are coming out, <laughs> whether you want them or not. Um, but I promise this is not a, a pun beach clean channel in, in general. Um, I found this, I don't even know what this is, but it's a spray bottle of some sort. So this is definitely stuff that, oh, this is dangerous. I probably shouldn't play with this, but this is definitely stuff that doesn't belong on the beach. I'm not gonna squirt it to find out. No, I'm not going to smell it. <laughs> you got to be careful with some of this stuff that you find, like I was pointing out with the nails pointing up, because there's all sorts of toxic chemicals and that sort of stuff on the beach, too. But anyways, the two funniest things I wanted to sort of share with you, I think it's funny, was I found this big bucket. And uh, this bucket's great, because I can use this now to beach clean with. And in fact, I think I will moving forward, because I've been looking for this type of sturdier winter-type pail. So I'll just wash it out. It's a little cracked, but... There's no reason why I can't hold plenty of perfectly good beach trash. So thank you, Bolt and Nuts Company, for uh, lending us or gifting us free trash collector. And then finally, our friends at the uh, MTA, shout out to the MTA, gave us this beautiful helmet on the beach. How this ended up on the beach, I will never know. It's now in the running for Strangest Beach Clean item found of the year alongside the fire extinguisher I found last week. So I'm going to clean this out and uh, can be my beach cleaning hard hat for when uh, we beach clean along bouldery cliffs or something sometime. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find a use for it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll do this as a giveaway because it's in really good shape. It's got like the padding inside and stuff. It looks in really good shape. If you if I clean this up, it's, I think, perfectly functional. So maybe this could be a fun giveaway or something if anybody's interested in this. Uh, I don't know, maybe post in the comments or something like that. <laughs> we could do a gift giveaway or something, which I've done before, and I think people are really excited, get excited about and grateful for. So this could be another good example of that. So, yeah, anyways, that's really everything for today. Oh, also some Fireball, little mini liquors, whiskeys, plastic, that sort of stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's everything for today. I'm going to call it a little short now because, obviously, the sun's setting behind me, so this really turned into a sunset beach clean, much like last week. You never know how the beach cleans turn out. Last week I expected, hey, I'm going to see how many shoes and footwear I can collect. And it turned into a beach clean all about how to clean up in crazy cold temperatures and not make the mistakes I do. So if you want to see that, it's in the, it's the previous video uh, on our channel. And today I was going to try to do the same thing uh, with the, the footwear. And I wound up finding just some, some different type of interesting stuff. And... I, I, a beautiful sunset beach. I mean, this is absolutely amazing beach clean weather. I would take this every day of the year. A lot of people think the best beach clean weather is in summer, but honestly, I prefer fall, spring, and even winter. If it's mild like this, I think it's probably about 45, 46, 47 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's well above freezing, and there's no wind. I mean, the recording probably finally sounds really good between my mic filter and just the lack of wind. So this is a, a gift of a beach clean day. So I'm gonna be able to collect more trash on my way back, but I already have probably 10 pounds here of trash. So no shortage of trash. And I got a new reusable bin bucket, which is exciting. So we can try to be more sustainable in that way. And yeah, every bit makes a difference. It all adds up over time. So I, I've really been encouraged, like I always say, more and more people who subscribe to the channel and comment and if you're interested in this type of stuff and you like what you see, you can subscribe via the button below, please do. Because more and more, as I was saying, people just getting involved and interested and I, it's so encouraging and I've heard so many interesting stories. Every video I post, there's somebody new who says that they're, they're cleaning, they're doing something somewhere, whether it's uh, at a beach like mine here or it's uh, inland along rivers or lakes and the, talking about what they find and why that's important for the local, um, marine habitats I guess wetland habitats in their communities and it all adds up and it's all part of a shift to hopefully more sustainable time so yeah I really appreciate that type of input and and just discussion it's been really great so yeah like I said uh, subscribe below if you like that's this sort of stuff and next week I don't know what we'll be doing because we have this second big storm coming up in a couple days uh, I, I've wanted to do a snowy beach clean this winter but it hasn't worked out there's so many other factors with tides and the wind and that sort of stuff so I don't know maybe we'll try to do something Sunday but who knows we'll, we'll have to see 
but yeah, anyways, thanks so much for joining us on this awesome sunset. Uh, and hopefully we'll have uh, some more new different types of adventures to come. So until then, stay safe out there, stay warm through the winter as we continue on through the winter, and hope to see you on the beach soon.